it's your girl Trippy C and I'm back with another video. I'm quarantined though because I'm like considered high risk because I'm on immunosuppressants or whatnot, but it's all right. I can work from home and my my job is like, I mean, I'm in the military, but my job is like super supportive and they've been helping me out a lot. I'm six months out from getting out the military, most likely getting medically um, retired, thank God. And yeah, I'm just ready to go. I'm tired, man, I'm tired. I mean, I, I know, I mean, I'm going on four years. I don't give a damn what motherfucker. Well, my daddy been in 20. My uncle did. Well, good for him. This shit ain't for everybody, man. And the damn show ain't for this mother black ass motherfucker here from Dublin, Georgia, because I ain't fit for this shit, him. I, I, found, a way, I found another way to get some money. I sell my ass or something. Not ready. Ready to go. So today we're going to talk about working at a strip club. Money on my mind. Money, money on my mind. Okay. Waitress in that strip club, because mad people be asking me about that. Because so I used to work at a club in Atlanta, the Blue Flying the Best strip club in the ATL. They itch, they itch for the title, my fingers, they itch. The best club ever. At first, I didn't know if I wanted to do it because it was just like, I know that's gonna be hard, like trying to work there and work at Walmart. Okay, so the first time I applied to go there, well, I was gonna apply there, uh, my homegirl, uh, K Mill, she worked there, so she was trying to give me a job there. But I was in college, and that was my first year, and I didn't really have money like that. And I had quit my job at Six Flags because, like, they was working me to death. Slavery is over. So I was like, I can't do this no more. So anyway, I got a job at the strip club, shaking my booty. No, I'm lying. I did not strip. No, I wasn't stripping. I was a waitress, like a bottle service girl or whatever. I did not have them. I didn't know there was so much stuff involved with that. So you got to get a permit from the Department of Labor or Department of... Okay, you got to get a license from the Department of Transportation, right? It's like 300 some dollars. I did not have the money for that, okay? But I was getting $300 off my refund check from college every three months. I wasn't getting no extra loans, so I was getting a bare minimum in my Pell Grant, so that's it. I didn't have no money, so I was like, I can't do it. I can't eat! I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! I didn't do it the first time. The second time around, we had a job at Walmart in Douglasville or whatever, and then I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the military. So anyway, I got the money. By the way, I keep notes when I talk on here so I don't lose uh, track of what I'm talking about. Actually, the owner, he had helped me with that because he knew I wanted to work and I need another job because just working at Walmart was not cutting it. He helped me get the license. So I got the license. It was like $370. My first day working there, got my little shorts, my little blue shorts, and my little white beta shirt. <clears throat> and it had the words on it, blue flame. I was like, I was like it's so cute. I'm gonna try to put a picture like right here if I can find one of me. I was so slim and I had my little Halle Berry haircut, okay. And I had my little heels, but I didn't wear heels there because I couldn't drive. I basically had made my outfit look like a Hooters outfit. I had it super tucked in, and then I had the pants all the way up here. And then freaking, it just looked, it just looked crazy as hell. And so when I get there, the lady is like, and I had on like some cute little sneakers, like some chucks or something. And I get there and the lady is like, um, where are your heels at? And I'm like, I got them in my bag. And she's like, um, you need to like, you know, come here, come here, come here. So she freaking, she like rips my shirt open. <laughs> my titties is hanging out a little bit. And then she like, um, so untucks my shirt and she has my shirt, my, uh, she put my shorts all the way up, rolled them up like four times. I was like, oh my God, like I look like a hoochie. And I was just thinking like, you know what, if I want to get these tips, I'm gonna have to start looking. I'm gonna have to start, you know. Use what God gave you. Stop messing with this chump chat. I'm, I go put my heels on and I'm walking around with my heels on or whatever. And I was just so excited because I'm like, can't stop, won't stop, get guap. So, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. The first week, I got gypped, kind of, okay? Because you gotta use your own money. So, if people knew that I was new, they was basically hustling my ass. What's up, new booty? How you doing? Like, I'm gonna have to put, like, I'm a nice person, but I was gonna have to put on, like, a whole nother face, okay? Like, you can't, like, you're not about to hustle me, okay? At first, I was like, like, I went up in there with my, like, humble, genuine self. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me walk around here looking cute. All right. Yeah, no. When it gets packed, like people will try to hustle you. Like this one dude, I, he had gave me, um, he had asked for a beer, right? So you gotta use your own money. Everybody not like this, but this place is. So you come with your own money, right? So I had used my own money. He said he wanted a beer. I went and got the beer or whatever. Paid the bartender and brought it back. Gave it to him. He's like, look, I'm gonna give you the money at the end of the night. All right, cool, let me start a tab. <sighs> no. No, no, no. I do not run tabs with no customers. Not really like that. Unless I know you and like you're a regular, then yeah, I used to run tabs. But um, I only did tabs for the dancers because if you try to run off with my money, I know where you work at, okay? All right, give me my damn money for sure because y'all got some raggedy ass employees anyway. I don't want y'all motherfucking cookies. The motherfuckers up in there showing each other manicures and shit. Manicures? That's what y'all got? Give me my money back. That was number one, okay? And then two, the other time I was getting hustled was when the club was like super thick on Thursday. They used to be like, I mean, Thursday's still the most popping night. But one of the most popping nights. But Thursday, everybody coming in for amateur night to see the amateurs night slash comedy show type thing. Yeah, okay. This is uh, it was the rock, coconut, and pineapple juice. Okay, that person wants that. And then a helium coke. That person wants that. Mini, okay, a, uh, rose, a mini rose bottle. Okay, they want that. Boy. Boy, let me tell you, I fucked them orders all the way up. I don't even remember. One, I was tired as hell because I had just started working there and I had to get used to working at Walmart from like seven to five or something like that and then i would get like a, maybe an hour to shower maybe two hours because i had enough time to shower eat a little bit and do my makeup but if i was like smart i would do my makeup in the morning time or do it sometime during lunch or something in between at my other job at walmart i would just come home shower change clothes and then eat and then take a nap i got hustled because it was too much orders coming in at one time or one person give me like six orders and then other people come in and give me like five, six orders. Then they saying like, oh, you didn't give me the right drink. And I'm like, oh my God. But I, and then like customers be like, she don't know what she doing. And I'm not gonna lie, the first couple weeks I did not know what I was doing. I ain't even gonna lie. That, I ain't gonna say that I did, cause I didn't. After that, I had to start telling like, listen, my bad, okay? That was a lesson learned because that was a lot of money I lost. Okay. Even when people tip me, I still wasn't making enough back. So, but I had never waitress before in my life ever. So I was like, all right, I gotta get it together. Don't be no scammer. I know people be talking about the city girls, whatever. This generation is like, to me, I feel like, I mean, karma gonna get your ass. You can scam for a little bit. You ain't gonna last that long. It's not. I just tried to be as genuine as I could and be as cool as I could with everybody. And in the long run, that shit really paid off. I'm not even gonna lie. And like, I I really didn't burn, I actually never burned a bridge with anybody there. I made bomb ass friends. Like uh, my homegirl, she a makeup artist and she did my makeup the last time I was in um, Atlanta. I uh, put her name somewhere right here. I put her name. Anyway, she does bomb ass makeup, okay? And then I post a video, a picture of my makeup right here. I met her, a few of my be like real close friends. Like I have like two best friends that I made from there. Just like I said, me and the owner and stuff, we still cool. Me and the DJ, we still cool. Everybody's still cool. And then like me and like all those people just coming through. Like when I come to Atlanta, people show so much love. And I would never advise dating nobody that you work with or work that come to your job. I just. That's just not my thing, okay? I did one time, I did try to talk to this dude. One time that worked at the club, and that, not at work, not work, he didn't work at the club. One time that I used to have, he was like a really good, um, he's a tip really good as a, a customer or whatever. And I used to get like small stuff, like just drink like waters and stuff, and he would tip like $50. And so I would, like he wanted to take me out, so I was like, cool. But then like, it, it just turned out bad. I'm not even gonna go into detail, but it turned out really bad like I'm not doing that ever again because he really just tried me and you know what I'm gonna lie like some dudes that you like that's just not a place where you want to meet somebody because especially in Atlanta like people think like a lot of dudes be feeling like they can buy you and I just ain't never been the one okay I will never ever be in a relationship with somebody just for the bread and people that know me they know that's true because it's been people i've talked to that got bread and i have turned their ass down you don't dis don't disrespect me don't think you can do it treat me any type of way and just throw me some money i'll throw you that shit right on right the fuck back 
I'm good. I got we good over here. Got my own bread. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. Nothing left to say, like period. 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 Yeah. Period. 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 Don't ever let nobody tell you that you don't ever let nobody try to flex on you. Don't don't feel intimidated by nobody. For real. Cause Atlanta would do it to you. That's why I do not want to go there. Cause everybody, people just, I don't just like, I really don't like how they move. I love my city, but I do not like how materialistic or how superficial it's becoming. Like I'm over that shit, like really. I will share a story though. So one time I had smoked some hookah and I had almost messed, uh, messed up my money. I forgot to bring this up. So I never had smoked some strong hookah before and I had smoked watermelon mint. Like me and the waitresses, we all put our money in and we'll smoke off this one hookah. All night, y'all. So I used to smoke on this hookah. And I would get so, like, I, I remember doing it. And then I would remember walking, Pat, like, walking from the hookah, like, I'm like, this weed, what's in here? Like, this, like, what's in this? And my homegirl's like, girl, that's it's strong, okay, it? It's watermelon mint. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't smoke hookah or smoke anything like that. So I'm just sitting here like, damn. So I almost fucked my money up, like, 10 times. I don't know why it took that many times, but, I just could not stop smoking hookah. I didn't drink or nothing because I wasn't of age or whatever. But when I tell you, I used to have to go to the back where the dancers change out, change their clothes where all the lockers are. And I was just, don't do it, okay? If you got another money, wait, don't let people talk to you while you have the money i enjoyed it that was like one of my most fun jobs that probably was like the only fun job i've had for real for real none of my jobs i ever had was like fun like i never went to work and was like oh my god i can't wait to get to work like i used to get turned up in the car i'd be listening to my two chains in the car. Like, no matter where i'm at i got i used to wear like little we used to wear like little rubber bands on our our wrists and like every rubber band is supposed to be like a hundred dollars or something like that yeah, it was a crazy experience. One time one of my customers was like real cool and he just was like, you don't gotta work to my manager. Like, I don't gotta work. Um, they just want me to work their section. And then I worked their section and I, mean, I made a lot of money. I didn't even have to work. He bought me food, they bought me food and everything. It wasn't even like only like that because we was cool. Except for the one time, the, oh, nobody ever really tried me like that. So I could probably like go on and on about stuff that I did, when, uh, stuff like, Stuff that happened or like fun times I had there and people I met because it's just it was just so much people and then I left to go to the military after that but anyway <laughs> I'm grateful for it because it really introduced me to a bunch of people that I didn't know because I was not really out there like that I was always working but I still got to um, network with people and I learned the value of networking um, working at their club so if you ever want to get into that uh, want to do that on the side like that would be, I think that would be dope. I wouldn't do it for a long time because you're going to get tired. But I think that it would be a dope job um, if you're looking, if that's something you're looking into, just be careful because people, and it has nothing to do with the club itself, just just people um, that, that come to these places, you got to just be careful. Uh, like when you drink, that's just like any place that you go. You got to be careful about your drink, especially if you're a female. You need to watch out. Like, make sure you, you watching yourself. Make sure you got a, a friend that, that's watching over it. Like, make sure everything is good as far as like safety. Make sure you're always being vigilant about what's going on around you. Everybody in there is not on the good shit, so you got to watch out. Also. I dyed my hair black, you guys, because I got tired of that light brown color, and I just love black hair so much. I love it. I kind of want to get it cut in layers, but y'all almost cut my hair off because I was like, I want to go back short, but I'm not going to do it because I actually love my locks, and I don't feel like, first of all, I spent like four or $500 on this style, so I'm not going back, and then two, because, I mean, I can do my own hair now. I don't have to pay nobody anything, and then two, I don't feel like doing my hair ever, so... But uh, that's it, y'all. I'm out. Make sure y'all leave a comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe, okay? And make the money. Don't let it make you. All right. I'm out, y'all. From Texas to Miami, New York to VA, I gotta find this girl. Uh -huh. I really don't know. She probably at my neck.